Uh, greetings. Uh, I welcome you to CEO T Farm. Um, I wanted to say something about uh, our human management, our human uh, management of the moving bank. We call this God's moving bank or livestock moving bank. I uh, wanted to say uh, we, we really need to take good care of our moving bank. We do not want um, to destroy or uh, fail to handle properly the livestock that we keep. And um, today I just want to show you uh, uh, in a very short documentary or a short video on uh, one harmful uh, shrub or plant um, that is able to uh, kill your livestock. Uh, but uh, before I share that, uh, my question is, did you know that there are some of our um, produce uh, that we eat that can potentially be harmful uh, to our gods? Did you know that uh, plants like tomatoes, plants like potatoes, plants like eggplants, paper are able to harm our animals? They have what they call uh, the alkaloids, uh, from medium to about uh, large amounts of alkaloids in them that can be harmful to our animals and so you need to make sure that you're consulting um, those that are mentoring you consult the livestock consult people uh, who do nutritionists so that you are able to feed your animals well because some some of these uh, products they give our animals blood some of them cause diarrhea and uh, some of them may even cause fainting or strange behavior in our animals. So we need to make sure that we know what we are feeding our animals. We are not just giving them anything anyhow. We are giving them that which is going to help uh, um, keep them well and also give them the nutrients that they are required. And even uh, when they go browsing, let your workers know what kind of uh, uh, plants uh, around your field uh, look around check there is one plant that I'm going to show you now that can potentially be harmful and so you need to make sure that if it's there you stamp it out or you keep your animals away from that I hope I can do other plants as well in the near future that could be harmful of course a number of our plants um, may have certain substances that could be harmful but only if consumed in large quantities only if consumed in large quantities other substances are neutralized if they are consumed in little quantities and also if uh, you are giving your animals uh, other food uh, especially things like grass or pellets you are giving them what they are accustomed to eat or what they are meant to eat um, then they will naturalize that and um, in case you do have blood i hope you do know that you need to have at least something like a, a drenching gun at your farm so that you are able to help uh, with the blood or uh, you you need to have certain substances uh, i'll do another video on substances that help uh, um, deal with the blood but for now i just want to show you one of the substances that you need to look out for uh, especially when it's at the flowering stage because that um, will is poisonous to to your livestock it is poisonous to your guts and so yeah you need to take care uh, thank you for following me i thank you for subscribing if you are new to this channel i encourage you to subscribe and uh, also let's keep sharing this knowledge so, so that uh, we are able to manage our flock well and we are moving at the same pace and we are creating wealth together uh, share the video let's subscribe 
let's do what we can to uh, push this uh, agenda forward. Thank you very much. Uh, this weed is called the Lantana Kam. Lantana Kamala, a noxious weed, poisonous. You don't want it on your In farm. Cases, what is the poisonous? In most cases, what is poisonous is the flowers. Your livestock shouldn't eat these flowers. This will kill your animals. This uh, shrub here, the Lantana Kamala, a noxious bush uh, we, we are learning we are getting the knowledge so let's make sure that we clear this bush from our farms if we can but i'm told uh, uh, gods are good browsers and so they will avoid uh, browsing on this one uh, make sure that if you have it at your farm uh, you protect your animals from coming to eat it yeah you don't want your animals to come near this plant because of curiosity or because they were starving and they are just rushing to go and grab whatever they need to eat you want to bring in your human skill and human management to make sure that your animals are protected and your animals are looked well after. And it's just uh, prudent that our workers also cut some of these uh, shrubs out of uh, your farm if they are near your livestock and you keep your livestock uh, in a place where you know that whatever they'll be eating, whatever they'll be grazing or browsing is um, good for them. So let's make sure that that we are looking after these animals well because they are our bank. In the near future, they will come and sponsor certain activities that you need them to come and sponsor. So take good care of these animals uh, and they will also take good care of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Please share this video. It may just help somebody. Thank you.